Anterior Cerebral Artery, Wikipedia Article Audio The anterior cerebral artery is one of a pair of arteries on the brain that supplies oxygenated blood to most midline portions of the frontal lobes and superior medial parietal lobes. The two anterior cerebral arteries arise from the internal carotid artery and are part of the circle of Willis. The left and right anterior cerebral arteries are connected by the anterior communicating artery. Anterior cerebral artery syndrome refers to symptoms that follow a stroke occurring in the area normally supplied by one of the arteries. It is characterized by weakness and sensory loss in the lower leg and foot opposite to the lesion and behavioral changes. Structure Development the anterior cerebral artery is divided into five segments. Its smaller branches, the colossal arteries are considered as the A4 and A5 segments. The anterior cerebral artery develops from a primitive anterior division of the internal carotid artery that initially supplies the optic and olfactory regions. This anterior division, which appears at the 28th day of development, also forms the middle cerebral artery and the anterior choroidal artery. The anterior cerebral arteries grow toward each other and form the anterior communicating artery at the 21-24 mm stage of the embryo. The anterior cerebral artery shows considerable variation. In a study made using MRA, the most common variation was an underdeveloped A1 segment, followed by the presence of an extra A2 segment. In 2% of cases there was only one A2 segment. The anterior cerebral artery supplies a part of the frontal lobe, specifically its medial surface and the upper border. It also supplies the front four-fifths of the corpus callosum, and provides blood to deep structures such as the anterior limb of the internal capsule part of the caudate nucleus, and the anterior part of the globus pallidus. Strokes that occur in a part of the artery prior to the anterior communicating usually do not produce many symptoms because of collateral circulation. If a blockage occurs in the A2 segment or later, the following signs and symptoms may be noted. Variation Anterior cerebral artery Cerebral arteries seen from beneath Anterior cerebral artery visible at center Function The arterial circle and arteries of the brain The anterior cerebral arteries arise from the trifurcations of the internal carotid arteries Ocular group, central retinal Clinical Significance Occlusion A1 originates from the internal carotid artery and extends to the anterior communicating artery. The anteromedial central arteries arise from this segment as well as the ACOMM, which irrigates the caudate nucleus and the anterior limb of the internal capsule. A2 extends from the ACOMM to the bifurcation forming the pericolosal and colosomarginal arteries. The recurrent artery of Hubner, which irrigates the internal capsule, usually arises at the beginning of this segment near the ACOMM. Two branches arise from this segment, orbitofrontal artery, arises a small distance away from the ACOMM, frontopolar artery, arises after the orbitofrontal, close to the curvature of A2 over the corpus callosum. It can also originate from the colossal marginal. Paralysis or weakness of the foot and leg on the opposite side, due to involvement of leg part of the motor cortex, cortical sensory loss in the opposite foot and leg, gait apraxia, abulia, akinetic mutism, slowness, and lack of spontaneity, urinary incontinence which usually occurs with bilateral damage in the acute phase, frontal cortical release reflexes, 
contralateral grasp reflex, sucking reflex, paratonic rigidity. Ciliary, CIRCULUS arteriosus major, hypophysial. <laughs>